In this section, we are going to talk about firmware version upgrade and downgrade. So the Fortinet periodically updates the Fortigate firmware for new features and also resolves important issues. This is actually what's happening with the major vendors as well. Well, after registering your Fortigate, we have talked about it in this, in this module, you can download firmware updates from the support site. Here are some general guidelines before installing the new firmware. So review the release notes for the new firmware. Review the supported upgrade path to make sure that the upgrade from your image to the desired image is supported. Backup current configuration, very important, we have just talked about it. Test the new firmware until you are satisfied that it applies to your config. Very important, you need admin read write privileges to perform the firmware change. So let's see where we have this available in the graphical user interface. So I log in. Yes, it's in the system firmware. Or if you are in the dashboard, it's available here as well. We have talked about widgets. Clicking on firmware, you have two options, configure system configure settings in system settings and update firmware in system firmware. So it is supposed that you have already uh, logged in the support, uh, the support website of Fortinet, downloaded the appropriate image and you have it in your PC. And when you do that, you just uh, click on upload firmware and that's it. The second option is to go, I don't know what happened to my interface, is to go into the CLI. And here you run execute, restore image, and let's hit a question mark. So where do we have our new image stored in order to do the migration? We have it either on flash, on FTP, on management station, TFTP, or USB. It's very simple, it's straightforward, but you really have to know that these are available options and you really need to perform this in order to have all the functionalities available and in order to have the most stable version of the 40 operating system.